Join us here at Last Adam Tabernacle as we bring Christ to the nation. Glory to God. Amen. So, uh, you're welcome. Good to see you here, all of you. Amen. I saw uh, Damba. Raise your hand. Amen. It's good to see you. Damba is, uh, he fellowships at Jack Ballows Church, eh? uh, reigning in life. Eh? Amen. So, it's good to see you visiting us here today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Today, I was uh, pleasantly surprised eh, that I actually hear from God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You guys think hearing from God is easy. Actually, it is supposed to be easy because the Bible says, my sheep, eh, hear my voice. Eh. So it's supposed to be easy. Eh. Hallelujah. It's supposed to be basic. Eh. To every child of God, there's, it is basic to hear your father's voice eh, and to know eh, how it sounds like. However, from uh, what you hear, people do or conclude that God has told them eh, or uh, told them something, eh, you realize that actually this simple thing hearing from God is not actually what? Simple. From what you hear, people say, God, you know, eh? so that's why for me, because I know it is simple, yet not simple, I always feel happy eh, when I get to know that father, that I had God. <laughs> Amen? Hallelujah. Yeah, why am I saying this? Is that because uh, yesterday, I thought about a message eh, I should share, and that thought eh, that came eh, about what I should talk about was, um, I was shocked. Eh? I didn't see that coming very soon, eh? you know, what I'm going to talk about it. Eh? I thought it would be something maybe, you know, eh, fire in the future. Eh? Yeah. But anyway, I felt strongly that that's what the Lord wanted me to talk about. Eh? Again, something very simple. Eh? Amen. Um, yeah, so this morning as I was trying to put stuff um, together, uh, the Lord um, uh, told me, you know, when I had uh, decided that, yeah, this is what I'm going to preach, so I was trying to see what I can use. Eh? Um, and then, uh, then the Lord told me, he asked me that you know that tomorrow is ED. I said yes, eh? because there are some people who don't want to work, eh? who <laughs> circulated what? Something from uh, which ministry? The ministry what? Public service, I guess. Eh? He about eh? ED, Monday on ED. Eh? 12 of eh? no work, you know, eh? be public holiday. So some guys who don't want to work, it was over the net, eh? or the uh, WhatsApp. So I got it also. Eh? So I knew tomorrow is what? So they all said, so you know that tomorrow is ED. Then he asked me that, do you know what ED it is? Because there are different EDs. Eh? If you don't know that, ask uh, Paul. Eh? By the way, <laughs> and ask Paul or ask Janat, amen? <laughs> Glory be to God. Eh? They, they, uh, yeah. So, yeah, so I went eh, on the net to check, eh, and uh, I found out that it is uh, the ED where um, people, uh, where Muslims, eh, like, remember the sacrifice of, of who, it's supposed to be Isaac, eh, but I guess for them, they say Ishmael. Eh? Anyhow, I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, they remember the, that day when Abraham took his son eh, to sacrifice him unto the Lord. Eh? Amen. And uh, then the Lord says exactly that. I'm using this. That is just to confirm to you that what you're going to talk about is actually of me. Glory be to God. Eh? Amen. Amen. So I guess you can all guess what it is. Eh? It is what? So, it, what? <laughs> Hallelujah. These prophets here, what? you didn't enter the anyway. Basically, it's about giving, eh? giving and what? <laughs> giving and receiving. Eh? Simple stuff. I didn't expect this to come this soon eh? because most of us in this church were, I believe, eh? were established in that area. Eh? Amen. But for some reason, God wanted it to be talked about. Eh? You know, uh, to be honest, 
I am called to preach that subject, eh? giving eh? as a, a way, a key to prosperity. Eh? However, I also know I am not the best preacher of it eh? at the moment eh? for the simple reason that I feel sorry for people. <laughs> you understand? Eh? So I know I don't really like preach it the way I should because I feel sorry for people. You understand? Eh? I feel sorry for you guys. Eh? Amen? But pray for me that I stop eh? feeling sorry. Because when I look at now, like most of you, like 90, over 90% of you guys, eh? you are part of so many things. Eh? First of all, if you have a car, you need a few, uh, a few uh, you know. Eh? Then, um, uh, then now when you come to Sunday, of course God expects you to give. Eh? Then over 90% of you, like you're part of uh, uh, Zoe in you know, the fellowship, eh? which, by the way, you should support. Eh? That thing is very safe. It's from heaven. Eh? Amen? And uh, then you, you're part of so many things. Eh? So I feel sorry for you. Eh? <laughs> Honestly, I do. Eh? <laughs> I do. Eh? So I look at you, and I'm like, man, God, guys are giving. Eh? You understand? Eh? No one sh we should actually even tell them about it because they are doing it. Eh? I mean, they are supporting many projects from heaven. Eh? Hallelujah. Eh? Uh, yeah. Eh, but one day, <laughs> uh, more than a year ago, again, I was in that mode eh, of feeling sorry for people. People don't have money, you know. Eh? God, they have given, you know. Eh? Then, <laughs> I remember I had gone to some bank to pay fees for my daughter. This is more than a year ago. So while there, I, uh, so there were two queues. Eh? One queue was leading to some place called uh, NFO for, for like VIP banking. Eh? You understand? Eh? Like a real, you know, guys who are, you know, serious people, <laughs> you know. Eh? <laughs> then, yeah, so when I got in, eh, there was some lady from LAT. Eh? Now, this lady from LAT, She's one of those that I always was feeling sorry for. <laughs> Honestly, you look at her, you're like, God, the people have given table, nothing. You know, eh? So I enter this bar to pay fees for my, now for I, which is in the other one. Man, eh? Anyway, so before I go to the uh, counter, my cheap counter, any, the fees counter, <laughs> for she already got into it. And now, man, eh? The lady, she, man, withdrew cash, banned. That's when God told me, now you see, that I know I should don't know. I'm telling you, the someone I told that, was it? Dennis, eh? where's Dennis? Is he here today? Dennis, you remember? Eh? God told me, you see, I know what you don't know. He told me, stop feeling, you know, I know my kids. Eh? You know, you can't think they're good at everything. Eh? Then the Lord, at that, you know, Moment eh, took me in a bank at that point when she was just ready and go to me. And she was a lady who, eh, you know, I bambi always I was like, you know, eh, you look at her, you're like, yeah, you know, eh, no one should, eh, you know, preach to about giving, you know, giving all, you know, eh, and they all say, oh, okay, you can, amen. I thought this, <laughs> you guys, it was not just the things of bundles of. Of Puma, you understand? It was bundles of money. And the Lord told me, now. You understand? So he told me, just do what I tell you to do. Eh? Detach yourself eh, from these chaps. Eh? <laughs> As in, do, eh, but still haven't yet learned eh, how to completely detach. Eh? Amen? Glory be to God. Anyway, that's why I thought that this giving thing should be for the distant what? future. Eh? Because First of all, you guys know, you understand eh, about it. And then you're also giving. You know, you have nothing. You have given it to all the I I think. But God is like, you don't know. Eh? <laughs> you don't know the chaps you're dealing with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, so he told me, yeah, you know, to, to, uh, to, tomorrow is it, you know. And so that's why this message of sacrifice, eh, which is basically giving, eh? yeah, this, that day that is coming is a, is a sign eh, that actually you are 
going to say what I want you to say to my uh, children. Okay, when I, I read about that edict that's supposed to come tomorrow, I read that actually it is really supposed to be today. But for some reason, the moon, you know, eh? Hey, but it's supposed to be today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, yeah, so today you should just sit and relax because we're not going to speak mysteries. Eh? Glory be to God. Deep stuff. It is simple things. Eh? Simple things which you learned in nursery, even before you went to nursery. Eh? Your parents were always telling you to what? To share. Eh? Hallelujah. Because sharing is what? Is, is caring. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is not scaring. Eh? Sharing is not scaring. It is what? It is caring. Glory be to God. So that Edith, uh, for tomorrow, eh? in Arabic, it basically means eh? festival of the sacrifice. The sacrifice eh? of Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, I don't believe in it. Eh? I don't believe in it. Eh? But you see, God does signs, you know. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Even to get to the place where Jesus was born, eh? stars, eh? signs, you know. Eh? So these things are eh? days. Eh? Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to talk about that. Eh? Amen. Now, as I sat here, as we worshipped, the Lord told me that, uh, first of all, most of you know, eh? I am the financial prosperity president eh? of this country. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I am. Eh? Deal with it. If you don't have, you know, eh? I am. I am. I didn't make myself. I was made. Eh? I am. Eh? So, that being the case, it means eh, that, uh, you see, angels have uh, different things eh, which they do. Eh? You know that? Eh? There are angels for this, are angels for Just like us here, eh? we all don't do the same things. Eh? You know? Yeah, so even angels are like that eh? in the kingdom of God. Eh? Amen? Hallelujah. So, uh, if I am and I am... Eh, the financial prosperity, but that is the only thing I've ever been bored about. This is the only thing. There are other things which the Lord has called me and has told me to do, but I'm not so bored with them. That's why I even don't talk about them. Amen. But for some reason, this one of FPO, for some reason, now that it, it is supernatural. Actually, it is the only thing. Actually, the only thing I'm really bored about. That sometimes I. I even just say it to annoy people, you know. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Glory be to God, to just provoke, you know, emotions, good and bad, you know. Hallelujah. Other things, I even don't talk about them, you know. I attempt to, eh, but then I detach, amen. But for this one, anyway, so if I am and I am the financial president of the country, it means that, uh, that the angel... In charge, like the head angel, eh? in charge eh? of prosperity in this country. You understand? Eh? It means he dwells here. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. That's what it means. Eh? You don't have to see a vision or a dream about that. You use spiritual sense, eh? spiritual common sense. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Now, so anyway, as I worshipped here, the Lord told me, that uh, because I'm going to talk about a subject that I'm called to do and I am like the top dog in the nation for it. Eh? <laughs> Amen? He told me that, and the angel of, of prosperity, like the head, is here. He told me that now there are angels, eh? you understand, who are under him, eh? who have come in today, and they're here eh? in this church, eh? to listen. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> to listen, and then they will take that message or the empowerment of it to places eh, where they need to take it. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I remember, I think it was either 2 or 12 or 2 or 13, eh? I had a dream when uh, uh, the angel Gabriel appeared to me, eh? but uh, he was with other angels who I knew were his subordinates. You understand? Eh? And they were just chilling there, but it is him eh, who talked with me. You understand? Eh? So, Gabriel, the angel, has angels under him. Eh? You understand? Eh? In the same, and that means that now the angel of prosperity of the, of the nation has angels under him. Eh? And those angels are here right now. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. But you don't have to 
believe that. Eh? You can only, you just uh, believe eh, what is clearly <laughs> written in the Bible. The other thing you can say, nonsense. Eh? But this one, you, you believe. Eh? Luke chapter 6 verse 38 says, so it says, give and it will be given unto you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Glory be to God. Amen. Giving is that simple. Eh? Give and it shall be given back to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall, shall men do what? By the way, one time God told me, you see it says, uh, we'll uh, shaken together, running over, will be put into your bosom. Actually, but KJV says, shall men, eh? people, eh? you know, put it into you. Eh? One time God, uh, he told me that that is essentially why you should be, you should do your best eh? to be at peace with people. You understand? Eh? Because if you're not at peace with somebody, it is unlikely that they will give you, they will put money in your bosom. Hallelujah. You know, he said, you know, eh? just imagine if everyone hates you in the world. You know, eh? <laughs> you're, you're unlikely to prosper. Because guys won't buy from you. You, you know what I mean, eh? Anyway, give and it shall be what? Given unto you, a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men put into your what? Bosom. Now, that scripture is, okay, it was Jesus speaking, yeah? And we know that Jesus does not lie. Yeah? Amen? Amen? So giving results into receiving, and receiving more than you gave. Amen? Now, this is Jesus. Yeah? This is not me, yeah? Jesus. Glory be to God. So no one can say that, you know, they have given what and, you know, eh, now, eh, if that has happened, eh, then eh, ask Jesus whether what? You know, eh, we take him at it and then confront him. Eh? Seriously, by the way, do that. Eh? Hallelujah. Ask him why this scripture is not what? Hallelujah. But most probably he will refer you back to me. Amen. <laughs> Until you go and ask what? The financial prosperity of us here. He has your what? Hallelujah. Probably you are antagonizing other people. Eh? So those people cannot put money in your bosom. Glory be to God. Usually one of the answers is, you know, the first answer is usually there. You're not in love with people. Eh? You understand? Eh? So they are evading you. Eh? Then they find someone. You understand? Eh? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen? Give, and it shall be given back to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men put into your bosom. Hallelujah. Last Sunday, Joan preached hard things, eh? very difficult things. Eh? This Sunday, it is to chill. Eh? You understand? Know, simple stuff. Glory be to God. <laughs> Amen? Hallelujah. Simple stuff. Eh? I know Joanne's stuff was very simple, but for some people, eh, it was what? Hallelujah. By the way, God also told me that if you're a visitor, this, if this is your first time here, yeah, you know, you've just come to, you know, visit. Eh? He told me now, just like the angels who have come to hear this message, he said that even you, you are specifically brought today to hear this. So that God may Prosper you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Eh, I hear God, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, um, in 2014, I guess it was in November, there is a, a lady, a girl, eh? she, she's a friend to Sarah, uh, uh, you know, and some people. She's called um, Sanyu, eh? Sanyu Patricia. Yeah, she had a dream, eh? which I will read for you, eh? Most of you have heard it, eh? about candies. That's what I'm saying today. Just be on a chiller, you understand? Eh? And she had a dream when I, eh? I was giving out candies to a number of people who were lined up. Eh? So I kept giving out candies nonstop. Eh? 
Then she, and she was watching, eh? but she said that the more I gave eh, out the candies, the more I received eh, more candies to give away. You know, eh? And she was concerned eh, that I wasn't keeping some aside for my what? Uh, girls. Eh? Then I put aside some, but I kept on giving. Amen? And before the dream ended, she, she, she also began to imitate me. Eh? She also began giving out candy. And the more she gave, the more she had what to give. Glory be to God. Eh? Amen? This is essentially what it means. Eh? By give, and it shall be given unto you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Eh? Shall men, if you don't mess them up, eh? Amen? They will put into your heart. Ubozom. Amen? So do your best eh, to keep at peace with people. Eh? Now there are those eh, who want, they are not ready eh, to be at peace with you. That's not your fault. Eh? Amen? But as for you walk in love, eh, glory be to God. Eh? Because God uses men. Eh? Hallelujah. God uses what? God uses people. Most of the time. Eh? Of course now that we have learned about the supernatural, eh? We know now also <laughs> that money can grow on trees. Eh? Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Eh? Amen. Amen. For Elijah, God used a bird, eh? a raven, to bring food, eh? fresh bread and fish in the morning and in the evening. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, anyway, so I guess if you fail to keep at peace with people, amen, the ravens will come. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, yeah, don't worry, eh? you know. Eh? Eh, but, uh, you know, that thing, it is only recorded once eh? in the scriptures. Eh? So that means that it is uh, rare. Amen? But maybe as the supernatural increases, eh? maybe it will become what? Uh, more, where's Maureen? More common. Amen? <laughs> Glory be to God. Most of you don't know what that means. Amen? But the more you give, the more you shall have eh, what to give, and even more eh, to keep to yourself. Eh? Glory be to God. Amen? Amen. Simple things. Eh? Hallelujah. Simple things. Eh? You know this giving thing is so simple? Amen? Yet, if you're going to prosper, eh, man, eh, you see, it is like a stumbling block. Here you are, you studied all the economics you know. Glory be to God. Amen? Right now I'm reading a book, eh? The Confessions of an Economic Hitman. <laughs> Amen? And anyway, you've read things, oh, why wow, you work in a bank. By the way, years ago, I wanted to, to get like, an opportunity to work in a bank because I thought it would teach me about money. I'm serious, by the way. You know, after I'd finished my master's, eh, I was like, God, give me an opportunity to work in a bank, some money eh, to learn how it was, you know. Eh? <laughs> it didn't come. Eh? In fact, shortly before I finished my master's, eh, I wrote to some uh, these uh, accounting firms. Eh? What are they called? Eh? Those things. Eh? He, I wrote to them. Eh? I told them, I'm a doctor. I'm finishing my master's, eh, and I would want to... <laughs> And I was confused or anything, but medicine wasn't my thing, man. Now, after master's, I wanted now to enter, what? Eh? But I, because I thought, eh, now I'll learn about money, but I realized, man, eh, <laughs> yeah, you know, wacky, because that thing didn't teach you nothing eh, about money. Maybe you can just hear maybe about opportunities. Eh? This one, so was a loan. Now uh, the bank is going to whatever their house. Eh? So you're, you're the first to know it then, you know it. Otherwise, eh, growing rich, just, uh, I, this is a thing, eh? simple stuff. Eh? Give and it shall be given unto you. But I want, now, in fact, I also wanted to like, get a job eh, for some time. Eh? After I'd finished a master's, eh, I wanted to get a job, like to work, you know, like at, at game, eh? and be, what do they call those guys? Who you go to pay? Tell us what, eh? those guys, you go, you buy something, then you pay them, then eh? what are they called? You all don't know because you're giving different answers. 
But those people, eh? I wanted to get a job like that for some time. Because again, I thought because you're handling money, 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 you know, eh? then you, but you right now, what are you learning eh? there? You're just counting, give you balance, change, you know, eh? zero. But I, why, you know, eh? I wanted all the ways I can learn about what? Money. I thought bank, then I realized nonsense. Eh? Tell her what, say, you know, eh? zero. Hallelujah. But I knew this, eh? but I wanted other things, you know, eh? hallelujah. And God was like, eh? if you know this, eh? you kind of know it all. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Simple, simple, man, stumbling blocks. Eh? Glory be to God. <laughs> you guys don't believe me. Okay, you, but I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I read it. I read it. I read even the, the other one, what cash flow. So I know those things. Eh? And they are, by the way, those things are not really evil. Eh? They're not really evil. Eh? They have some good things. Eh? But you cannot make it your only foundation. Eh? You can't, man. Eh? In that book, the guy talks about even his rich dad eh, who used to give eh, to, to, to charity. So there's, there's some good things. Eh? Amen? However, yeah, man, that book can also mess you up. When you're always looking at the other quad, whatever, you know, any, for any of those things. Glory be to God. Amen? So give, and it shall be given unto you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men, if you don't mess them up. But if you do it, the ravens will come. <laughs> Glory be to God. Or you can just, before you sleep, you can command money to come in your wallet, and then when you wake up, you get your wallet, and there's money. It, it happens. Eh? Most of you who go for where you've had, eh? Elvis commanded money back in his what? You know, and it came. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. So there are those other means. Eh? But the commonest and the millennium is around the corner. So eh? this commonest will continue to be the commonest. Eh? God using what? People. Hallelujah. <laughs> it is the commonest and it will continue to be the commonest, in my opinion. Eh? Hallelujah. Prophets might have been told. Eh? Something else, say that in this dispensation, the way money will be coming to people, you understand? It will be, you know, how, amen? If he told you that, you come and tell me. Eh? Amen? Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 8, verse 7 and 8, it says, but as you are bound in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all diligence, and in your love for us, See that you abound in this grace also. Talking about the grace of what? Of giving. God says, see you, you are abounding in all mysteries. Eh? You understand? Eh? Abounding in so many things. Eh? But he says, also abound eh, in this grace of giving. Hallelujah. And then he tells you that, uh, that uh, Paul says, I speak not by commandment, but I'm testing the sincerity of your love. Eh? By the diligence of others. Amen? Why I got this uh, verse is uh, to emphasize that bit of love. Eh? Amen? Giving should be a result of love. Eh? It should spring from love. It should be the evidence of love. Glory be to God. I tell people, please don't, don't be coerced into things. Eh? You know, eh? if, don't be led by fear. Eh? To give into things. Don't. Eh? You understand? Eh? You've just lost your money. Amen? You've lost your money. Eh? Amen? Give out of love. Eh? You know, eh? you love something, you love someone. Eh? Don't be coerced into, what? into that. Eh? Amen? Let giving be a result of love. Eh? Glory be to God. Amen? And it also teaches that be diligent about it. Amen? You know, endeavor to abound in the grace of what? Of giving. Amen? 2 Corinthians 8, 24 says, Therefore, show to, to them eh, and before the churches the proof of your love. Eh? You see? The proof of your love. He was still talking about giving. Eh? And he says that show them eh, the proof of your love. Glory be to God. The proof. By the way, giving... 
it shouldn't just be because you, wanna, you want to receive. You understand? Eh? Amen? Give because you love, but you know eh, that the scripture cannot be broken. That when you give, it shall be given back to you. But your primary motive eh, should be love. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? One time I told God that, God, I'm tired of these little monies. Tired. You know, eh? I, I want to give, but I am li limited. Eh? I told him, give me a reason eh? why, what is hindering, what is stopping you from giving me a lot of money. I told him, you know, but now it's not that I wanted to be like the richest in Uganda. No, I just wanted, I was like, God, eh? why aren't you giving me a lot of money to give away? I told him, I'm tired of this bullet. I'm tired, tired. You know, eh? I want to give more. Eh? You know, now you see, the motive was love. Eh? You know, eh? you know, it to be, you know, eh? hallelujah. And anyway, so that was the time when I had that dream eh? of when I was being considered eh? for the position of governor, Bank of Uganda. Basically, God was considering me for big time monies because now my heart eh? was what? was right. I wanted to be a blessing. Amen? But God, of course, he intends, eh? he wants that, even as you are a channel, hey, you know, more, eh? some eh, will be kept there for you. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. <laughs> simple things, eh? isn't it? Isn't this simple? Glory be to God. Amen? Amen. And you know these things, eh? But for some reason, I don't know. In fact, I was like, what is, why, why, God, why do you want me to, to talk about? People know, they know eh, this. Eh? They hear it, I guess, once a week. At least somewhere, eh, they hear it. Eh? But am I what? Am I an obedient what? Servant. Glory be to God. Yeah. I don't know why this message has to be what? I don't know. And it's none of my business. For me, I'm just a servant. I just, maybe one day you will tell me eh, that on that Sunday, do you know? Eh? <laughs> God, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Yeah, there's a story, the widow of Zarephath. Eh? You know that story? Eh? Hey, move my knee. <laughs> hallelujah. First Kings chapter 17 from verse 8 to 16, eh? From verse 8, it says, Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, indeed the widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And as she was going to get it, he called to her and said, Please bring me. What's that word? Of bread <laughs> in your hand. Eh? So she said, as the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread. Only a handful of flour in a bean and a little oil in a jar. And see, I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said to her, do not fear. Glory be to God. Amen. Do not do what? Do not fear. Go and do as you have said, but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me. And afterward, make some for yourself and your son. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, the bean of flour shall not be used up, nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day the Lord sends rain on the earth. You understand, eh? Then the Bible says in verse 15 that so she went away and hid and did eh, according to the word of Elijah. And she and he and her household ate for many days. Amen. Primarily because when you give, it shall be given unto you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. So the bean of flour was not used up, nor did the jar of oil run dry 
according to the word of the Lord, which is spoke by Elijah. Amen? Man, that passage of the Bible, it is too serious. Eh? Amen? Most of the time, eh, it's like it almost brings me to tears, man. Eh? You know, eh? this lady, you know, all oh, this story, it is so touching. Eh? Glory be to God. Eh? Amen? And this lady must have so pleased the Lord eh, that even when Jesus came, eh, hundreds of years later, eh, he talked about her. Amen? He said that, that there were so many you know, people, widows in um, Israel, eh? amen? But Elijah sent, rather God sent um, Elijah to just her. Just her. You understand? Eh? I guess she was a giver, eh? you know, and God now wanted to bail her out. Eh? And then he didn't send, it to send, send Elijah to everybody, just sent specifically eh, to the widow of Zarephath, eh? And the Bible says the bin of flour did not run out eh, and the jar of oil eh, never ran dry. Glory be to God. Eh, when she gave. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, they don't teach you this in a bank. Amen. That's why I guess God didn't give me an opportunity to work in, in a bank. I wanted to. Amen. <laughs> they don't teach this in uh, those things, accounting, you know, whatever, SCCA. Eh? They don't. That's why God closed that door. And I have doctors I know who, after they finished, eh, they went for those things. Eh. No, guys are loaded, eh, you know. Eh. Doctors just whew, left man. Eh, and now they are SCCA, you know, uh, pros, those things. Amen? I wanted to work in game, like, for six months. I was very serious. But I was very serious. Eh. Very, very serious. <laughs> so that I can learn about money. Then God told me, no, you're not going to learn nothing. Amen? Amen. This is it. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I didn't consider law, because eh? there, of course, there is nothing, man. Hallelujah, <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all. Eh? Amen? Just teach you how to lie. Eh? <laughs> Glory be to God. Give guys bail who don't deserve it. Eh? After they have given you a, <laughs> a little something. <laughs> Change with your dog, you know. Eh? Glory be to God. As for medicine, eh? you know, <laughs> nothing about money. Glory be to God. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Glory. <laughs> Amen. So it's all in the Bible, eh? It's all where? In the Bible. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. So give. Eh? Amen? That's the thing. Eh? God wants you to give. Eh? Be a giver. Eh? Amen? And you'll never lack, like the widow. Amen? She had this left. But what she was provided for took us throughout the entire famine. Eh? You understand? Eh? The famine was like three and a half years. Eh? So we don't know at, this, at which particular time Elijah left the brook to come to the widow. Eh? Let's say it was after six months eh? because there was no rain. Eh? So it's possible that the brook could have dried after six months. Eh? So that would mean that now Elijah was with the widow for three years. For three years. And for three years. And her giving eh, took her the entire one for three years. That's how powerful giving is. Amen? Amen? This woman could have been an accountant. <laughs> Glory be to God. She could have been what? Do account, you know, accountants haven't just come. These things have always been there. Doctors didn't start when the bazungu. You understand? Eh? There were doctors in those days. The Luke, the writer of the Gospel of Luke and Acts, eh? he was a physician, eh? If doctors were there eh, and, and liars, who, uh, who, who lawyers, eh, they were also what? Accountants. They were also what? They were there. Maybe they were not this deep eh, like in our days, but they were there. So this woman could have been an accountant. But the accountant was going to die. Glory be to God. So the secret is not in what? Accounting. 
Some of you want your kids to do the SCCA so they can become rich. Well, God, there's no scripture to that, that if you do SCCA, you become rich. You might, eh? but you might actually become rich, but when you are a broke, rich person. There's something like that, by the way. You broke, but rich, eh? you understand? Eh? You're there, money is your God, you understand? Eh? You're hitting people on the head, you're doing sh shady accountant, eh? shady accounting. Eh? You're a broke accountant, eh? amen? You are an economic what? Hitman. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. She could have been an accountant, eh? but she was going to die. Eh? She could have been uh, working at game when she has learned about money. <laughs> land, but she was going to what? Glory be to God. Amen? Amen. She could have helped, what's his name, Robert Kiyosaki to author, you know, but she was going to die. Glory be to God. Amen. The only thing that bailed her out eh, was giving. Hallelujah. It alone, man, eh? Amen? And from the time God bailed her out, his primary way of bailing out his children has never changed. Glory be to God. Amen. Again, if you get into the spirit and God tells you something, please come and share with us. Amen. Which other way? You understand? Eh? Which other way now he has topped above this? Eh? How he bails out his, what? his kids. Glory be to God. Amen? So give. And it shall be given unto you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men put into your what? Your bosom. Glory be to God. Amen. Many years ago, when I was at the university, the Lord told me, <laughs> if you joyfully obey the laws of giving and receiving, shall see no fun. Ah. You will never see financial depression. In your life. The word never wasn't there. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 and 10. What does it say? Is Sandra here? She's not. It says, And let us not grow weary while doing good. Eh? For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Then it says that therefore, as we have opportunity, hmm, let us do good eh? and to what? And to all, eh? especially to those eh? who are of the household of faith. Amen? And let us not grow weary. Hallelujah. Maybe that's why I'm preaching today about, about that. Amen? You know, because God knows, yeah, guys are giving, but some, you know. <laughs> Amen? Then those who are giving God doesn't want them to get what? Where? Yeah? He says, don't grow tired. Yeah? For in due season, yeah, you shall reap. And he places a condition on reaping or what? Not what? Giving up. Hallelujah. That means that you can start giving and then at a certain point you stop. You get tired. Yeah? When that happens, you know, you shall not reap. Hmm? You know, so that means that what you, what you gave, uh, you know, some time ago, whew, that's, that's bad. Eh? Amen? So you give until you what? You reap. You don't stop. You understand? Eh? You don't stop. Hmm? Hallelujah. For in due season, you shall reap if you don't lose heart. They say, therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do go to all, eh? to all, especially, hmm? especially the person next to you if they are born again. That's what it means. Eh? Especially to the born again, if you're born again. Glory be to God. Hmm? Especially. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember 2010, eh? 2010, most of you know, uh, when I got that dream, eh, where God was like, get a child now, eh, and that child will be born in the States, eh, 
because I want to give the child citizenship, eh, American citizenship, which in years to come, eh, I will use for something big. Then he told me why he wanted to do that. He told me that uh, there are sacrifices you have made in the past eh, that have greatly touched my heart. You understand? Eh? Say you've looked after kids you even don't know, eh? paid school fees for, you know, and say now I want to bless your child eh, with this, eh? and in years to come, I'll use it for something big. Eh? Amen. Amen? So anyway, my wife at first didn't believe that dream, eh? and but later she believed. Glory be to God. Amen? <laughs> she believed. Eh? Later, so in a, we began to make arrangements. Eh? Of course, the first arrangement you make is what? Is what? Is what? Giving? Visa? No. Conception. <laughs> I mean, you guys. Eh? Anyway. <laughs> ah, glory be to God. So we made arrangements. You know, mother, you know, eh? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, then, of course, now we needed to put money to get again visa. No, my wife had a visa that time. Eh? Because we're going to the U.S. for a wedding. Eh? So, so our visa was still, you know, those two year things. Eh? Uh, so, um, yeah, now, of course, she had to go with some money. Now, of course, we had to buy a ticket, eh? you know. And uh, we had fairly good jobs then. Eh? But, I mean, if you're giving and what, eh? it can be so hard to accumulate some amount of money at a go, eh? You understand? Eh? So anyway, so anyway, we put aside some, you know. Eh? Uh, then one night, uh, I had a dream, eh? which I'm going to share. Eh? I tried to summarize it the best I know how. Eh? Yeah, so in this dream, I dreamt eh, when we were flying, eh? we were in transit, Jerry and I. Eh? And uh, so we were tra traveling from abroad, eh? coming back eh, to Uganda. Then uh, we had, uh, in the dream, we had a layover somewhere, and we, we stayed in a hotel, and there was a, a convention of sorts, a Christian thing, going on. And uh, at one point, the people that were attending it had a, a break. So during that break, I saw Bill Winston and Brother Leroy. Yeah, Brother Leroy. He's a friend to Brother Copeland and Brother Jerry and Brother who? <laughs> Those guys, man. Eh? I, and those guys messed me up eh? years ago. Eh? You know, I, these guys were on TV, eh? that clique. Eh? Jerry Copeland, Leroy. Eh? There's another black guy. What's his name? Keith Moore, you know. Eh? So they were there chatting, you know, on a Believer's Voice of Victory. Eh? Then at a certain point, eh, guys said, eh? now this is a... Uh, it could have been two or something, uh, two, well, I don't know, maybe two or five. Eh? And guys said eh, that uh, you are there trying to save $50,000. And you are laughing. <laughs> you are <laughs> trying to save $50,000. Yet $50,000 cannot even buy you a cheap car. <laughs> you understand? Know, ah, guys, you are laughing. You're there trying to save $50,000. It even can't buy you a cheap car. Then they said, and that you don't know that one doctor's bill eh, can wipe it out. You, <laughs> you know, eh? one doctor's bill eh, can, whew, eh? by the way, disease and sickness eh, are one of the, the things which the devil uses to make people broke, eh? poor. Eh? You know, one sickness in a family eh, can bring an entire family eh, to the knees of poverty, by the way. I've seen these things happening. Yeah. Before you know all these funny tests, eh? and, and these doctors are not even going to do anything with the results of the tests. But they're just trying to appear so bright, brilliant, so, uh, you know, the Kalisha, blah, blah, you know. Eh? Then the end are talking, man. Then they're like, ah, but maybe it's not this, eh? um, because, blah, blah, you know. So, go and do this test. The man, eh? then medication, but, by the way, eh? Sickness is a terrible thing. Eh? And you saw these guys were saying $50,000. Can't buy even you a cheap car. Albert thinks $50,000, what? It can buy a cheap, you know, eh? cheap, it can't buy a cheap car. 
So if your car is a uh, <laughs> glory be to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I mean, that's why they say they are not my words. Eh? Hallelujah. So they were just saying, why don't you get that money and give it into the work of the Lord? <laughs> into the $50,000. And they were like, no. so I thought that they would be apologetic. You can't say that. Eh? I thought. Eh? So the following day, the, you know, the next, you know, like episode, they said it again. It wasn't the same program like the program. It was the same, rather the, a different one. And they said it again, $50,000. Eh? That time, the dollar, the shilling, the dollar, it was, I think, $1,800 something. So I, what, multiply by five? No, it was $1,600 something. No, no, you can see this is a long time ago. $1,600. Eh? So I have times 50, 80 ma. This guy saying 80 ma can buy cheap car. <laughs> And then he said again the following day, I realized these guys are serious. And most probably they are right. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, made these chaps. Eh? So anyway, I was so excited. Eh? I ran to greet them. I knelt down eh? to man. I'm so glad to meet you. Eh? But then I realized you can't meet such people you honor, eh? great people. Eh? And then you just say, yeah, man, thank you so much. Eh? I was like, no. So I remember I ran to our hotel room. Eh? You know eh? To, and uh, like to get uh, fifty dollars for Leroy and fifty for Winston, eh? you know, because in the dream I remember we had like three fifty uh, dollars on us. You're in transit, you're flying fifty, you know, three fifty is little what money. So you could see things were tight, eh? but I was like, I'm still gonna get it and give to these guys. You understand? Eh? I don't know if in the dream I told my wife. I don't know, but I remember I ran. Eh? to get it. Then uh, as I was going, I met, uh, there's a friend of mine eh, called Joseph Okia. Eh? Um, so I met him and he was also in the uh, hotel attending the convention. And I looked at the guy who was tired. Eh? You could see he was tired, but then he was telling me that, no, I'm going to stay around for three more days, eh? you know, and then I'll do what? And then after this is over, I'll go back. But the guy looked tired. Eh? But it was like, pack a last. You know, eh? And so I ran. I got money. Then as I come down to meet Winston again, I realized that I'd gotten only 50. You know, eh? Only 50. Then I was like, Who I went back. I got the other, uh, you know, more, the 50. And I gave them. Eh? Amen? And then the dream ended there. Glory be to God. Now, I woke up, I didn't know what the dream meant. Eh? But that morning, I kept thinking about it. I said, like, there's something to this dream. Eh? So, at a certain point, I think it was around 11 a.m., I just decided, I was like, no, now, let me real concentrate on this. Eh? So, I remember lying down in a chair, and then, you know, we shut out everything. Eh? I was like, God, what does this dream mean? You know, eh? Then the Lord told me that this dream means eh, that... Uh, you have obeyed eh, my instruction to make plans eh, to, to have a child eh, born in the States. Eh? You have believed me. Eh? You know, eh? amen. You, you, have, you have believed me. But then you said, however, you do not have what it takes. Tell me, you don't have what it takes, as in what it takes financially. You know, eh? Then he told me, when I send you an opportunity... To give from the little you have, eh, which in, in this dream is a $350. You can't fly with $350 on you. Moreover, you're two. You know, a long whatever like that. Maybe if you're going to Rwanda, you can. Eh? You know, eh? But, you know, so it was little money. But then say, but if I send you an opportunity to give, eh, you know, eh, do not use it. Eh? Give eh? from the little you have. Not from the match you have, because you, you don't have the match. You understand? Eh? You know, eh? Then he says that, and don't get tired. Eh? Giving from that little that you have. Eh? That's why in the dream, there was this guy, eh? Joseph, eh? who he was tired. But he was like, no, he's going to go on until the, you know, 
until the last day after A. So God told me, do not get weary in well doing, for you shall reap if you don't. Yeah. Hallelujah. And man, yeah, I think I remember that time we had some what? money is announced already, the, the, the ticket what? So I remember I told my wife, man, I had this dream and this is the interpretation. You understand? And again, she believed. No, this time she believed me immediately. You understand? So I asked her, so how much money do you have what? Because now this dream, you see, this is how God is going to sort us out. You see, you can have a promise from God. Eh? Now, this is one of the reasons, the ways, eh, how it can fail eh, to come to pass. Do you know, most probably, if we hadn't obeyed this bit, it is possible eh, that this Eden, eh, the American thing, wouldn't have happened. Because it takes money, eh? So God was like, now, how you have obeyed? Eh? Now for it to happen, you have to do this. You have to give. And I know you have nothing, you have a little, but I expect you to give from the little you have. And so we did, in fact, I saw, I asked her how much money you have, how much she had, how much, any like 300,000, eh? which she was willing to give. Then I had, how much, for, anyway, whatever. Eh? So I remember I called up Alpha, eh? And Elvis, eh? I was like, you guys have some money. <laughs> you know, yeah? Then, uh, of course, after that, you continue to give. You're like, I have a God told me. Eh? You understand? Anyway, later, she goes to the States, eh? miraculously, she enters in there. And while she's away, I am giving. <laughs> Glory be to God. I, I, I don't remember ever sending her a coin eh, during those three months or so. She was, I was busy giving. Eh? You understand? Eh? And most of you know the miracle that happened. Eh? Everything was abundantly supplied. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 Do not grow weary in well doing, for in due season you shall reap if you do not give up. If you don't, if you, if you don't faint. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the scripture cannot be broken, which says, give. And it shall be given unto you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men, eh? if you don't what, mess them up, eh? they shall put in your what? A bosom. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 That is essentially it. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Again, I'm preaching, but I'm feeling sorry for you guys. <laughs> to a degree. Eh? You know, eh? But the Lord man showed me that lady man. Eh? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll never forget that lesson. Eh? I think God told me, never, just do what I tell you to do. Eh? Glory be to God. Amen? Amen? That actually means that people who don't, who have little money, they are the ones who actually are more they're the ones actually who should actually be more givers eh, than those who have a lot. Because if you have a lot, then mm -hmm. those giving things, for me, I don't like them. I mean, eh, for me, I have other problems. Eh. You know, these uh, guys who are renting my houses are not paying me. For the, you know, <laughs> the rich now, that's their issue. Eh? The godly rich, of course. Eh? Because they're the rich who are, what? Who are thugs. Eh? For them, they have the money, but they're still messed up. You understand? Eh? Yeah. But the good in rich, I am abundantly supplied. Eh? My only issue is that eh, these Christians that I what I allow to rent my houses, eh? they're not faithful. Eh? You understand? Eh? They're always greeting me, praise the Lord, brother. But they're not paying me. So that's it. Eh? And I do want to let them off the hook okay? because... Eh, I'll be teaching them a bad lesson eh, that you can just go hit, you know, people on the head by just saying, praise the Lord, brother, you know, eh? you know, we are supporting uh, the Hilton project, eh, so money is tight, eh? but, uh, you know, I'm thinking about you, your things are coming, eh? but, you know, there's the work of the Lord, eh? you know those stupid things, eh? I mean, pay your landlords, eh? God knows you have a landlord, you have uh, other things, eh? which wants you to be a part of eh? Hallelujah. So don't use godly things uh, as an excuse eh? to play what? People. Eh? Amen? 
Otherwise, you are, you are, you are a thief, man. Eh? You are a what? Not you, of course, but your neighbor. You understand? Eh? You are what? <laughs> Hallelujah. You are an economic hit, man. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Simple things. Eh? Simple things. Eh? But it is these simple things which if they become truth in your life, eh, they shall set you free. Amen. From poverty eh, and lack. God's desire is that there should be no one in need eh, in his church. That is his desire. Eh? You understand? It is his desire. Eh? Amen. God is not a thief. He's not up to stealing your money and make you miserable and hungry. Eh? You understand? Eh? Amen. Just obey him. Eh? Listen to where he wants you to give. Eh? You understand? This widow, God didn't tell her to give anybody. Eh? You understand? So Elijah, the man of God. Eh? And she, you know, eh? there's so many people in church who play games. Eh? They come in the name of the Lord. Now, brother, sister, you know, blah, blah, blah. They, ah, you know, and then they, you know. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. You've been blessed. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I can assure you, if you just do this, eh, you will never see financial depression in your life. Glory be to God. Yes. Amen. I tried accounting. Eh? I wrote. I went on the net and I wrote to some firm in the U.S. to them my credential. Oh, and now I want to enter this field. You know, no response. Eh? I pray to God to get a game, a, a job at game, eh? a place like that, eh? so that you know you handle color what, eh? so that you can learn about my God. Say nonsense, it, it won't. Just continue doing that which I told you years ago. You understand? Eh? Hallelujah, Amen. I love you. Last Adam Tabernacle, Christ for the Nations.